First question is from Shrumpf F836. Does wearing a weighted vest or a hoodie during cardio really make a difference in the amount of calories burned? Or is it like the oxygen restriction masks and just a perceived difficulty? It doesn't, but it does make you look way more serious than anybody else that you're running next and to. And that counts. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so, okay, so <laughs> ready. theoretically, a uh, weighted vest would make you burn more calories because there's resistance and it's harder, uh, but it's not worth the trade-off. And what I mean by that is a weighted vest, weighting your body down, doing cardio, changes your movement patterns. If you're not used to moving that way, mm -hmm. injury is much higher. Uh, if you want to use weight, use weight for what it's used best for, which is resistance training. A hoodie is not going to improve your calorie burn. In fact, it may reduce your performance to the point where you actually burn less calories. But wearing a hoodie may help improve your ability to tolerate heat. So if you're trying to train yourself to be able to, let's say you're going to go hiking and it's going to get hot um, and you want to get better with heat tolerance, that may be one way to help yourself out is to is to do cardio in a hot environment. Either heat up the room, uh, do it outside when it's really hot, or wear uh, clothing that makes you really hot, in which case you're training that, that you know aspect of your body. But as far as calorie burn goes, you're going to do the best uh, in the best state, meaning the best performance well, with the best form uh, and the best technique. Yeah, unless you're like a soldier or unless you're right. like, a, you know, even for football, in some degree, you had uh, weighted equipment. And so I would consider certain things like that with uh, the style of training is very like specified. So if I'm if I'm doing sprints or doing anything, I'm trying to emulate uh, the amount of time I would be doing that in the game and the amount of weight I'd be carrying around my body. And so, you know, there's ways to kind of do that creatively and, and the weight vest might make sense in certain instances like that. But in terms of your everyday average person, that's just trying to burn calories or get stronger. Uh, you got to evaluate these things. They don't really have a lot of worth in that direction. I'm glad you said that. Cause this is where I was going to go with that. This is, it only makes sense to me if you, if you are doing something where you are going to have, some weight on your shoulders while you're performing an exercise or a sport. Um, other than that, uh, it, it's a classic example of how us silly fitness humans think that the you know the ultimate goal is just to make everything harder, and that therefore it, it ends up being more results. That's just how we. So many people train this way. You know, yeah. it's always intensity. Always, if it's difficult, it's hard. More results, and it's not. Uh, true at all. It's a much finer dance than that. And when you talk about the potential thermogenic effects, because you're heating up faster and your body is trying to cool down, like maybe getting more calories, that's all splitting hair bullshit. So anybody that tries to sell you on the idea that the vest or being all hoodied out is a better way for you to, or a faster way for you to get in shape or lean out or mm -hmm. lose body fat is just a bunch of bullshit. And the trade-off for like to Sal's point uh, earlier is it's just not worth it or it's and it's splitting hairs unless to Justin's point you are doing a sport where you would you know put on something that's weighted like shoulder pads or uh, do do the do some of the obstacle course races of have them do that I'm is not it, sure what's, what's rucking is it rucking oh yeah, yeah there you go rucking does yeah, that yeah. yes yeah so if you were doing like a go ruck race or something where you will ha you would have to have that or in CrossFit you train I think there's certain ones where I think the Murph, like you have to wear a vest mm. in or some shit like that. So if you're training for something specific to get better at doing whatever it is you're doing with yeah. a vest on, that makes sense uh, for all other Hunting. reasons. Yeah. yeah, for all other reasons, uh, yeah, not silly. It reminds me of like the, the the ab workouts you see on Instagram that are posted where the dude is doing like a leg raise or a sit up. And someone's there, like punching them Blasting in the stomach, them. Yes. or yes. kicking them, or throwing a medicine ball yes. at yeah. their abs, and they're like, "Oh man, you got to try this. You really so much more. Effective. You really feel it more in your abs." You gotta, <laughs> they totally got that from boxers, and boxers do that because in boxing you get punched in the stomach. Yeah, you actually get punched. Yeah, there's so a real learn. Yes, there's a real application for them. Yeah, but for everybody else, you're just hurting, you're bruising your body. It's not yeah. helping you build your abs more. Yeah, yeah. Wearing a weighted Great vest analogy. is not going to help your you, your cardio or to burn necessarily more calories, not worth the trade, unless that's what you want to get good at, which is cardio with weights.